When James Alex Fields Jr. deliberately drove his car through a crowd of peaceful protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia, my husband called on all Americans to unite against hatred and bigotry. Peer-to-peer -peer challenged students from eight universities to do just that. Catalyze movements to end hate and school-based violence. Eight teams of university students spent an entire semester designing and deploying dynamic campaigns to address hate and school-based violence. We selected the top three finalists to showcase for you today. We chose incels for our project because we have all witnessed some form of misogyny, sexual harassment, or sexual entitlement on campus, which are ideas central to the perpetuation of the incel movement. In designing the content for social media sites, we strove to make the posts appealing to our target demographic. We included photos of the story's authors to create a more personal narrative. The content was very cohesive and we kept a consistent template and color scheme across all of our posts. This was part of our strategy to make our brand and campaign recognizable and memorable. Over the course of this project, we created several vehicles to reach our targeted at-risk population. Our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook and our podcast series on SoundCloud are very important to be able to not only be recognizable online, but also to be able to interact with other online users. To this end, our social media outreach pages were a core element of our campaign. From online advertising to posting relatable story content, our social media specialists provided quick and accessible content to promote our message. As based on our preliminary research, the majority of Hopkins students reported that racism is the most prevalent issue on our campus. Connect to Protect is an initiative aimed at reducing targeted hate and school-based violence through inclusion. We created a 360 comprehensive campaign, ranging from social media challenges to video initiatives to events in order to address the issue of microaggressions. The insight that drove our campaign was this. Allowing small acts of microaggressions here and there can create a snowball effect, leading to greater acts of mass targeted violence. A prominent source of microaggressions is stereotypes that are formed upon first impression, often relating to physical attributes. To illustrate this idea clearly, we developed the Labels Campaign. We had students on Instagram post a story with a word they think represents something positive about themselves that people can't usually see. This was the Positive Labels Initiative. Kindness Empowers Youth, or KEY, is an experiential learning campaign with the goal of preventing incel violence. The KEY program educates guardians and teachers on incel violence while enacting protective measures to prevent at-risk youth from adopting incel views. Through the use of thoughtful design, relatable characters, and an engaging secret agent theme, KEY creates an environment where kids, guardians, and teachers feel safe to explore difficult topics. Our secret agent cats allow students to identify with the characters without the barriers of race or gender. To really engage students and reinforce the learning outcomes of the lesson plans, we developed a video game called Key Academy. Key Academy gives students the opportunity to experience different social scenarios and learn the value of self-esteem. Players become agents by assembling a team and working together to complete training missions. The game promotes learning by allowing students to independently practice the skills they've learned in the lesson plans. Secret agent themed lesson plans that we call missions focus on key learning outcomes. These easy to follow classroom lesson plans include detailed instructions, discussion prompts, and team building activities, in addition to the key mission worksheets. We're here in part because more than half of all Americans say they were subjected to hateful speech and harassment in 2018. And the FBI director has identified 2019 as the deadliest year ever for domestic terrorism. Our namesake, John McCain, called on all Americans to unite against hatred and bigotry. I could not be more proud of these teams for answering that call and enlisting their communities to do the same. We challenge you to take this day and go higher and go further. And we're looking forward again to watching you succeed.